Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, sorry, I haven't posted a video in like three months now, but uh, I broke the video recorder on my phone and I didn't have any way to record gameplay after that. So now I'm using a different video recorder, a flip that we have that I just remembered and it looks like it's going to work fine. So hopefully from here on out, I'll, over the summer I'm hoping to post two or three videos a week and then once school starts back up again uh, that might drop down to more like one a week uh, or maybe one on the week and one on the weekend but we'll see how it works out uh, also uh, I also kind of stopped videos because I started to realize that they were just kind of getting boring and I was getting bored with doing them so over the last three months I kind of was trying to think of something original to do uh, something that maybe would get me noticed by that could really get me a following and it would be different than what a lot of the content is being put out and hopefully if you enjoy it you'll spread the you know sharing with your friends or if you have subscribers and you know just help me out uh, basically what I came up with was what I think I'm gonna start doing is almost like a, a news report uh, I read a lot of the news every day I read I think one of my favorite magazines to read is Time. I read every issue, and I have a stack of them by my bed that of all the ones I've read. And I think basically what I want to do is take one story from, you know, a recent story. Maybe it's a week or a couple days old, depending on when I get the video out. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll talk about it and kind of give a general overview of what it's all about. And then after that, uh, give my opinion, uh, ask maybe questions I still have that haven't been answered, and you know, maybe people, you can leave comments, or leave a comment with your opinion, or if maybe I made a, there's an error in the facts that I gathered, but uh, yeah, that's essentially what I want to try to do is, I don't even know if I've ever seen a video that did something like this, I'm sure there are, there's millions of people on YouTube, but yeah, it's... I'll see where this takes me, uh, and the news is a, there'll always be news, so hopefully <laughs> I won't run out of ideas. Uh, so today, I'll make it pretty brief, just because I spent a lot of the time now talking about what I want to do. So, for today's story that I recently found was, it's, a, it's actually a kind of an old story, uh, but there's just been a lot of information still coming out, and it's the Robert Rupert Murdoch case with uh, the news of the world. And basically what had happened was uh, Murdoch owns, he's a, uh, he owns a lot of the British news area. It's a very large percentage. And one of the, uh, the papers that he owns is something called News of the World. And it's been around for 168 years. And it's a very, obviously it's a very old company. And basically what, is, what has come out recently is that there was a, a couple years ago, there was a schoolgirl who was murdered, and you know, they were doing their investigation, and alleged, and what happened was, the, not even allegedly, actually, I think this is now proven, that News of the World hacked into the girl's phone after she had died to try to access her voicemail, see if they could gather any more uh, facts or something they could write about, and then what happened was they deleted some of those, the voicemails that they that I guess they deemed weren't helpful because they wanted to free up space in case anyone did call that phone so that they could use that in their in their stories and what it ha and also what that did was the family it gave the family false hope that she was still alive because they thought that uh, since she had deleted voicemails they thought that she was that you know she had her phone and she was using it and now we know that that wasn't true and she is, you know, she was dead and she's found dead. And since that's come out there, it's a huge scandal and now controversy over what this is. Uh, obviously, Murdoch has publicly apologized and he's trying, you know, I think I read somewhere he's trying to, he's meeting with the girl's family, I'm sure, to apologize more. And, uh, also, another thing is he is the uh, news of the world is being shut down uh, a couple of days ago is when their last issue was finally released. And on the cover, it read something like a 
they're sorry, you know, you know, for all the good that does. But, uh, so yeah, that's now the news of the world is done after 168 years. I think it was, it's one of the longest, if not the longest running, current running newspaper in the world. And also, now there's, it also ended, Murdoch was trying to buy a, in Britain, a TV broadcaster called B Sky B. Uh, and you know, it was, he was trying to buy the rest of the shares so it would become part of his uh, corporation. I guess it's the, if you, that's the term I want to use. And at, even before this scandal came out, there was a bunch of contra controversy about it because people didn't want, it basically would have given him over 50% of the news shares in Britain, which here in the U.S. would be uh, basically a monopoly. If you own more than half, you, you, can, you can sway a lot of public opinion, which he already could do with the percentage of the news that he owned. And people were, and a lot of the Brit citizens in Britain were up in arms about it because, I mean, even if that happened to the U.S., we would be up in arms about it. You know, you don't own half of the news, and it's like a monopoly. So he's now withdrawn his proposal to buy that just because of this all this controversy and scandal coming out about him. Uh, another thing that's come out is there are also charges and allegations that he hacked into phones of celebrities and politicians and some of the 9-11 victims, which the 9-11 victims, I believe that has already been debunked. It wasn't, it was not true because, and I can't even imagine how disgusting that would be if it was true. And uh, although I believe he has also been charged for the celebrity hacking and whatnot was true. I mean, there has been a lot of, you know, getting voicemails or texts and just trying to get another scandal to write about in the news. And another problem they're going to start running up into now that this is coming out is, you know, obviously there's probably going to be lawsuits and all sorts of hearings and rulings and whatnot. About, but even though he is in Britain and his most and his company is really mostly a British news organization uh, the US is also going to is expected to press charges of some kind because at one point he did he moved the uh, base or, uh, it's, yeah base of his company from Australia it was in Australia and he moved it into the US and so now he's going to run into problems because he can be he, he's going to be able to be charged also he can be he's going to be, be charged whether or not this is true and he's going to be found guilty or not is bribing uh, police officers in order to get more information about you know a, a murder or a case and something exclusive that they would be able to write about uh so yeah he's also being pursue for that and another thing is they got his news companies were getting billions of dollars in tax returns from the US which is another reason that I think he moved his base here is because they can get all of his money back in tax refunds which is just ridiculous why why we are trillions of dollars in debt but we're giving this multinational mm. billions of dollar industry or not even industry, just company, tax refunds. How on earth that makes sense? I don't know. But that's for the lawyers and code makers to figure out. It's just ridiculous. But, all right. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna give my opinion on the matter. Oh, also, I think what I'm gonna also do is uh, add on, on the bottom of the description, I think I'll link, send at least a couple links to, of each article or story I do about that particular one. So if you are interested, you can read more and at least have a, somewhere to start. My opinion, <laughs> what happened is disgusting. Who decided that it was legal, actually not even legal, legal, maybe that's debated, but who can do that? Hack into the phone of a murdered schoolgirl, delete her messages, give her family false hope that she was still alive. 
is appalling. Right. And this is also, I mean, this isn't over. This is going to spark debate over the right of news organizations to do something like this. I mean, they do need, they need to get exclusive. They need to get facts and they want, you know, that's part of their job is they need to get something exclusive in order to them. That's how they make money. But oh, this is just going to obviously going to be an ongoing story and definitely I think it's interesting. And sorry, I'm kind of running out of time here. I didn't get to get much of my opinion in. I ramble a little bit, but Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll set cut, add a couple links in the bottom, and I hope you will enjoy this new idea I have. Thank you.